welcome back everybody. Um, Brian again. As I said in this video, we will cover the new project tab. So simply click the new project and we type a name in. Um, we will type Brian1 and simply hit save. As you will see, this is now here and has opened up a new window. If at any time you wish to delete any of your projects, simply click on it, right click the mouse, either rename the project or delete the project. You will then be presented with a pop-up saying do you want to delete the selected project, simply say yes or no. In this instance we will select yes. So let's move on and we've got Brian 1 which is a new test. As you see everything's blank but we have an input articles, the proxy manager again, the email validation, Schedule posting, scrape articles, post articles, create and post, create only. First thing you want to do here is create your data in the project data fields. You can simply generate fake emails by clicking this box and clicking the button. And as you'll see, it has pre-populated all the information um, that you need. You can also use the names or you can use numbers. Um, it then has the posting options which is the use project site list, use global site list, add footer, um, <coughs> use proxies, bypass proxies and we will cover these in more detail as we are using um, the settings. Next simply select the keyword and URL data and all you need to do again is um, add keywords um, so you can either right click the mouse and paste keywords from the clipboard, delete the keywords or delete selected keywords. For this one, again, we will simply use dog training and simply add. If I wish to delete it again, right click and delete. URLs, um, what you do is you then import your URLs and they have to be in the HTT format, so it's HTTT. We'll use that, simply add it. If you wish to add more, again, just simply click and add more. Uh, and then let's hit set save data. It's as simple as that. If you want um, to add real um, information here um, for the keywords, um, for the email, sorry, which is recommended because um, if you use real data, um, you can then validate the emails uh, as many of the wikis um, require validation um, you simply add the information here um, what I'll do is uh, in the next video um, we will cover the how to scrape articles um, for this project um, but in the meantime thanks for watching and we'll see you soon